so guys um, gonna do a video tour of the house I guess cuz you know it's gonna be like my last few days here so might as well just look through it and you know when I look back at it just kind of see how my life was a couple months ago and I'm probably gonna do a tour when I get to Mexico too just to uh, really show the lifestyle difference I guess in terms of how I lived while I was here and how I'm going to live when I'm over there anyways gonna begin and start moving around All right. uh, this is like the outside yeah like my neighbors and stuff don't really know anything about them but every day they always have construction which is pretty cool cuz it's always good to wake up early in the morning right Alright, this is the closest thing I have to an AC. <laughs> it's just a standard fan. Put up there. And now this is the bed I slept on. It was tough, you know. It's been hard for me. I didn't really uh, get used to it or anything, but you know, I always hurt my back. But you know, you live and you learn. You go by it. All right, we're gonna continue walking. All right, uh, check it out. this is the closet where you know I change clothes. Yeah, as you can see, I don't really have much clothes. Uh, for 11 months, I pretty much wore the same 10 pair of T-shirts every single day, and they probably should have been thrown away a long time ago. But I couldn't afford clothes, and you know, tough life. That's how it is, right? Since you gotta suffer, go through the hard times. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and um, meet my best friend. I go here almost every day after I eat a meal or I drink water because everything here is completely dirty. So I have a shitload of diarrhea, which is always great, right? Alright, check it out. That's the toilet. Yep, I have to sit on that. I'll get better look. Alright. Yep, okay, I got it. That's the toilet. That's what I had to do. You know, do I regret a thing? <sighs> Not really, but it has been hard. And, you know, I was willing to deal with this. And I hope whoever complains about what they have to go through really understand that people are living really tough lives, you know? Much tougher. I'm not here to complain. I've lived through this only for 11 months. Cousin's been through this for 26 years. And he hasn't said a thing, so you know, it was only as of late when I finally left, looked at the luxuries of others, that I did really realize that you know this is a complete shithole, seriously. But you know, I've been talking to my cousin about it, telling him you can't just do this the rest of your life. It's time for him to step up and really change his lifestyle. He's always just kind of accepted it. It's good to accept. But it's time to just improve some, man. This is just beyond ridiculous. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd like to mention I have, like, 60 mosquito bites, but I don't think I can get it by camera. Um, let's see. I guess that's it. If you want anything, if you want to know anything before my final leave, want me to record anything, I will. This is I'm a Champion. Jay Steven. And, yeah. This is my last few days in Cambodia, so might as well get a memory of this and look at what I actually really had to go through. Right. See you later.